best way to use Advian ant gel and utilize it is the knowledge of the exact species and how they're running and behaving. You have to understand that it is a part of just the biological, there's an environmental inspection that has to happen as well. So when we do these treatments, I like to utilize two dobs of gel, one in, uh, of each of the gels in the bottom of a window where we see them running. Um, of course, they're running across a pheromone trail and following a, tra a trail that the pheromones from the um, previous ants gaster, the scout ants have put down so they know where the food or the harbourage is to go back and forth. So understanding that trying to put it as close to the pheromone trail is possibly the best treatment method to get them to come across to it because they, there isn't attractant, there is a sweet smell to those ant baits which is different to cockroach baits. They don't have any attractant or smell to them. Um, they're very palatable once the ants get involved in them so getting them to switch over is quite um, um, easy once you know about that placement next to those ants and understanding then the amount of gel is really species dependent as I said before about polymorphic or monomorphic species one queen or se several queens so understanding that is really helps those treatments as well I don't break the pheromone trail but they know the way by that smell which way is the nest which way is the food because when you see ants go along that trail and they actually bump heads together they're actually swapping nest information with food information the scent of the nest the scent of the food they don't talk they just bump into each other that's also they know if there's predators in the area they get the sense of a different species or a predator in there they attack them so once they think that that pheromone trail is under attack or broken they will scatter. Um, this is predominantly really, really seen greatly with pharaoh ants. When we dust wall voids, people have had an ant treatment done, they've dusted inside a wall void. The pharaoh ants will absolutely scatter and that's when the inside of a wall will become actually crawling with many, many ants. They'll clump together to try and make another nest or another colony, but they've been scattered away. So we try and uh, keep it as close to, if not right next to, because they can then bump into it with their antlers or their legs, they can then sense it. And because it's closer to their nest than the other food they're currently getting, they'll save energy. Therefore, they'll actually switch to that food source first.